Hello world, welcome back to another ICS CTF 2024 write-up video. In this video, we'll be walking through all of the introduction to Malcolm challenges from the Security Foundations category. Let's get into it. We're going to select Malcolm 1 to start with, and we're going to go ahead and just skip to the question. That way we can consolidate the time on the video. The first challenge asks, using Malcolm's overview dashboard, how many Zeke con log types exist in this network data? So if you just navigate to the overview dashboard link that they give you, if you scroll down a little bit in this log type panel right here, you'll actually see the Zeke con entry right here. And the count is 2,339. And that'll be the answer for this challenge. Moving on to the second challenge. What is the IP address of the computer that connected to external IP addresses and browse the internet? Going back to the dashboard, we're going to look under the common protocols header here, and we're going to select the HTTP link right here. Since HTTP is the common protocol for connecting to the internet. Once that's loaded up, you can scroll down to this area right here, and you'll see that there's this source IP address that's connecting to all of these destination IP addresses or external IP addresses. And this 10.91.205.20 address is going to be the solution for this challenge. Moving on to the third challenge. Within this ProfitNet data, what was the slot used for Operation R Block Rec? Going back to the dashboard, we're going to select Overview. Once the search bar has loaded in, we can type in ProfitNet up here in the search bar. Once that's loaded, we can scroll all the way down to the logs down here. You're going to expand one of these events that has the event action R block rec, just like the challenge has in it. And we'll expand it with this little arrow right here. You're going to scroll down until you find this slot number right here. And the answer to this challenge is 6,931 or whatever value appears there for you. We'll paste that in here and submit that. And we'll move on to question four. What is the manufacturer and device type of the domain controllers Anvil uses? Let's open up this netbox link that they give us here. And we're going to select device roles. And we're going to select domain controller. Then we're going to select devices under related objects. And our answer for this one is going to be Dell PowerEdge 1950, as you can see here. We'll copy that and paste that in here. You can clean that up or whatever. It doesn't really matter, and you'll submit it. And then we can move on to question five. Using this dashboard, what CVE vulnerability ID was detected? So all we're going to do is go back to our Malcolm dashboard, and we're going to search for CVE like so. Again, make sure you're on the overview dashboard. That way you can see everything. Once that loads in, there should be only one log. If we scroll down, you'll see the log down here. You're going to expand this and you're going to scroll down to the bottom and you're going to find the vulnerability ID right here. So you'll copy that and paste that in here and submit that. And we'll move on to challenge six. What was the IP address of the computer that remotely accessed another computer? Okay, so the challenge prompt here is going to tell you to look at the common protocols. So we're going to go back to the Malcolm dashboard here. Scroll back up to the common protocols section right here. Now you're going to see SSH, RDP, and Telnet, and maybe some other remote access protocols. But the one we're interested in is RDP. Once that's loaded, you'll notice that there's a log count of three. You're going to scroll down, and you're going to see that the source IP is this 1099.42.24 address, and it's remotely connecting to this 1099.42.25 address. So your answer for this challenge is going to be this 24 address right here. So you'll copy that and paste that and submit that here. And we can move on to challenge seven. What is the system password found within this configuration file? You're going to open the link that they give you here. And any zip file that you download is going to have the password infected. So let's go ahead and open up the link they give us. And if we scroll down a little bit, we're actually going to find an S7COM TCP entry right here. That's going to be the file that you want to download. I actually already have it downloaded for our convenience, though, right here. We're going to open that up with 7-zip. 
Then we're gonna double click this little directory icon right here. We're gonna double click this. We're gonna type in the password infected like the challenge has. And there's our system password, semipore0516. We'll copy that, paste that in here, submit that, and we'll move on to challenge eight. What is the community ID of the connection that had both a source and destination port higher than 60,000? We're gonna go back to our Malcolm dashboards. We're gonna go to overview. Then we're gonna add a filter and we're gonna do source.port like so. And we're gonna select the operator as is between. And we're gonna do 60,001 as the beginning of the range and the end of the range will be 65535 as that's the upper bound limit of port numbers. We'll click save on that. Then we'll add another filter that'll be destination.port like so. Then we'll select the operator is between. We'll do 60,001 again and 65535 again as well there. Click save, then we're gonna refresh. There's gonna only be one log that returns back. We'll scroll down. We're gonna expand this event right here and you're gonna scroll down until you find the community ID, which is right here. And that'll be the answer to this challenge. So you'll paste that in there and submit that. Then we can move on to question nine which is the final Malcolm challenge. And this one asks, using the community ID found in the previous challenge, what is the plain text secret key that was transferred on this connection? So you're gonna use Malcolm Archimay for this, which they have linked right here. So we'll go ahead and open that. We'll type in community ID, and that should pop up in the results right here. So you'll select that. We'll do equal, equal like so and we'll paste in the community ID like that. And then you're gonna to wanna to set your start date to June whatever, it doesn't really matter as long as it's before June 24th because everything happened on June 24th. So you kinda of wanna get all that data and you're gonna press enter. And we actually have a syntax error cause you need to put this in double quotes or single quotes like so. You're gonna get two results back here but the one we're interested in is the Archime data source right here. So we're gonna expand that because if you look at the challenge description, Archimay can actually show full raw network traffic, whereas Zeek can't. So that's why we're interested in this one. And if you scroll down, you'll actually see the secret key is sim is mis message or whatever that says. And that'll be the flag for this final challenge here. So you'll submit that and you'll have completed all the introduction to Malcolm challenges, or at least all the main ones, aside from the conclusion. We don't care about that. So if you enjoyed the video, drop a like and subscribe to the channel to show your support. Turn on post notifications to get regular injections of cyber content directly into your feed. Check out our Patreon, join our Discord, and follow us on Twitter. Links in the description box down below. And leave any feedback or questions in the comment section down below. This is Almond Milk. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, world.